In this video, we are going to learn about the pH meter. pH meter is an electronic instrument used to measure the pH of a solution. It's an electronic instrument. The pH meter It's an electronic instrument used to measure the pH of a solution. The pH meter consists of a power pack and two electrodes. There will be a power pack and two electrodes are there. Power pack and two electrodes. Power pack and two electrodes will be there. The power pack contains an on and off switch. A power pack contains an on and off switch. And indicating meter, indicating with meter will be there. Indicating meter is something which is associated with that. A temperature compensation knob, a temperature compensation knob, temperature compensation knob. Power pack will be there as mentioned earlier. And two electrodes are there. Then the indicating meter is associated with that. Then temperature compensation knob will be regulating the temperature. And a calibration knob will be there. Next part is a calibration knob. Calibration knob. Earlier we have learned about the temperature compensation knob. Now we are learning about the calibration knob knob and a wire with the plug pin plug pin that's most common part plug pin okay plug pin and wire so which are the parts of a ph meter learn carefully first you must see power pack power pack will be there two electrodes power pack a power pack then two electrodes indicating meter then the temperature compensation knob along with that a calibration knob and plug with wire the on and off switch is used to supply and cut off electric current it's common sense the indicating meter shows the ph reading the temperature compensation knob the temperature compensation knob is used to adjust the temperature. This is a pH meter electronic device used to measure pH of solution. So we will be controlling the temperature along with that. So temperature compensation knob is a necessity. Then the calibration knob, calibration knob, knob which we have learned earlier is used to set pH. It is used to set pH. What is that part? Calibration knob. The plug pin is connected to the main electric line. The plug pin with wire is connected to the main electric line and power supply will be controlled. The pH meter contains two electrodes as mentioned earlier, namely a glass electrode and a calomel electrode, which are the two types of electrodes. A glass electrode, glass electrode will be there and the calomel electrode will be there glass electrode and a calomel electrode the glass electrode has a hard glass tube at the base it has a thin bulb in case we are explaining about the glass electrode glass electrode has some peculiarities like it's a hard glass tube hard glass tube and at the base it has a thin bulb thin bulb will be there bulb okay the bulb contains 0.1 normal hcl we are mentioning about the glass tube so glass tube is a hard glass tube made up of hard glass tube and then in the base it has a swelling Along with that swelling in it, 0.1 normal HCl will be filled in that. 
ஜீரோ பாயிண்ட் ஒன் நார்மல் ஹெச்சிஎல் ஓகே த பல்ப் இஸ் கவர்ட் பை ஏ ஸ்பெஷல் மெம்ரைன் ஆஃப் சோடா கிளாஸ் ஸ்பெஷல் மெம்ரைன் ஆஃப் சோடா கிளாஸ் வில் பி சி கவரிங் தேட் கிளாஸ் எலக்ட்ரோட் ஸ்பெஷல் மெம்ரைன் ஆஃப் சோடா கிளாஸ் மெம்ரைன் ஆஃப் சோடா கிளாஸ் ஓகே இட் இஸ் சென்சிட்டிவ் டு எச் ப்ளஸ் அயோன்ஸ் அண்ட் அலவுஸ் எச் ப்ளஸ் அயோன்ஸ் டு பாஸ் த்ரூ இட் A platinum wire is dipped in the 0.1 HCl. There is another portion. A platinum wire will be there. So, platinum wire is dipped in the 0.1 HCl. The wire coming out from the glass electrode is connected to the power pack of the pH meter. There is a platinum wire. We have earlier said that the glass electrode contains 0.1 HCl. This 0.1 HCl along with the special membrane of soda glass will be there so this special membrane of soda glass has some peculiarity that it allows h plus ions to pass through that special membrane okay then a platinum wire is dipped in 0.1 hcl and the wire is connected to the power pack of the ph meter <coughs> this platinum wire is coming out of the mm, bulb and it's connected to the power pack of the ph meter the calomel electrode is the reference electrode calomel electrode is the reference electrode it is not sensitive to h plus ions but earlier we have mentioned the glass electrode is sensitive to h plus ions and it usually allows the passage of h plus ions but the calomel electrode is used as a reference electrode but it is not sensitive to h plus ions it contains calomel what is calomel mercurous chloride mercurous chloride calomel is nothing else but the mercurous chloride which is used as a standard reference electrode calomel mercurous chloride and hence the name calomel it contains calomel that's why it's termed as a calomel electrode what is calomel mercurous chloride now forget mercurous chloride the calomel is connected with a platinum wire through mercury here is also there is a platinum wire that platinum wire is connecting this calomel electrode with the mercury the free end of the calomel electrode has a porous plug the base of the glass electrode constitute a half cell and the calomel electrode consists of the other half cell here we are just considering this two particular electrodes as two type of half cells half half and then they combine to form a full cell the base of the electrode is deposited with kcl crystal <coughs> as we have mentioned earlier in the case of the calomel electrode that is connected with the platinum wire through mercury and then the free end is connected with the porous plug the base of the electrode is deposited with kcl crystal mercury and kcl will be there kcl crystal is also there kcl crystal the remaining portion is filled with kcl solution kcl solution also is present kcl solution the glass electrode consists of half cell and the calomel electrode consists of the other half cell and the circuit is completed by the two electrodes the glass electrode can be represented as pt hcl and the calum and electrode can be represented by pt slash hg hd2 cl2 and kcl hd2 cl2 is nothing else that is the calum we have mentioned earlier that the mercurous chloride is the calum so pt hd slash mg2 cl2 slash kcl we will be writing that in the side platinum slash hg slash hg2 cl2 slash kcl this is the calomel electrode representation pt platinum slash hgl this is nothing else but the glass electrode okay each vertical line 
denotes an interface at which a potential is developed. The overall potential of the calamel electrode is a contribution of several potentials. The potential developed at the interface of Pt and Hg, Hg and Hg2Cl2, Hg2Cl2 and platinum. The calamel electrode produces a constant potential independent of the pH of the solution. That is why it is referred to as a reference electrode. The calamel electrode produces a constant potential independent of the pH of the solution. Constant potential. So that's why it is used as a reference electrode. Electrodes are of different sizes depending on the quality of the quantity of the sample to be checked. Some micro electrodes can check samples as little as 0 0.1, 0 0.5 to 1 ml. Micro electrodes will be there. Micro electrodes will be there. When both of the electrodes are dipped in the sample, the resulting electromotive force gives the pH of the solution. Electromotive force is produced here. Electromotive force. Next, EMF of a cell is equal to EMF of glass electrode plus EMF of reference electrode. This is a important point. EMF of glass EMF of the whole cell is equal to EMF of glass electrode plus EMF of reference electrode which is used to measure the pH of the solution. Next in the glass electrode H plus ions are generated whereas in the calamel electrode H plus ions are not generated. When these two electrodes are connected the electrons will flow from the positive electrode to the negative electrode. Electrons flow from positive to negative. Positive to negative electrode. The current flow is measured of H plus ion concentration that indicate the pH of the sample. Determination of pH using pH meter is explained how this is done. The instrument should be standardized before the commencement of the experiment. Before measuring the pH, the experiment should be standardized. The zero is set, the pH meter in pH meters, the zero of the volume is at pH 7. And zero is equal to pH of 7. Neutral pH, we know that. For setting zero, the electrodes are dipped in distilled water. For setting distilled water, we will be taking distilled water and just dipping the two electrodes in it. And so that voltmeter, voltmeter, I'm sorry, voltmeter reads zero. There is a voltmeter too. Voltmeter is also associated with that. Then that reads zero. After standardization, by the setting of pH 7 as zero. Then the second step, the electrons are then dipped in a standard buffer solution for non-pH like acidic pH 4 so that the four limiter reads 4. After the standardization, we will be putting a standard buffer solution. Standard buffer solution like dipping the electrodes in the standard buffer solution so that the voltmeter i am sorry voltmeter reads for voltmeter will show the reading of 4 the electrodes are removed from the acid buffer and washed with dh2o now the electrodes are dipped in an alkaline buffer after that alkaline buffer is applied and ph of 10 first we were um, measuring the ph of an acid with 4 ph and alkali with 11 pH, I'm sorry, 10 pH, so that the whole emitter reads 10. The electrodes are removed and washed with distilled water. Now the instrument is standardized and ready for the commencement of the experiment. The electrodes are dipped in the sample whose pH is to be measured. Record the pH, repeat the same for other samples also. The electrodes should be washed with the distilled water while transferring from one sample to another. The following precautions must be taken for accuracy while doing experiment with this pH meter. 
pH meter must be standardized before the commencement of the experiment. Like first dipping in the distilled water, for setting pH of 7, then on acid of 4 pH, then alkyl 1, 10 pH. When not in use, the glass electrodes must be immersed in distilled water, otherwise the thin membrane or the glass electrode will become dry. Distilled water is applied when it is not in use. So, we have learned earlier that in glass electrode there is a thin membrane. Thin membrane made up of soda glass that becomes get destroyed or become dry when it is not in use. So dip that in the distilled water. Significance of determining pH in biological laboratories. Determination of pH of solutions is very important in biological research. pH helps to find out acidity or alkalinity of a solution. In ecological studies, pH is an indicator for determining general ecological conditions of aquatic environment. General ecological study, ecological, general ecological conditions of aquatic environment. pH is an important factor in aquaculture operations. Biological activity of biomolecules is pH dependent. Biological activity of biomolecules is pH dependent. pH is an important factor as far as physiological experiments are concerned. It is used in the field of physiological experiments and aquaculture along with ecological experiments because ecological conditions are of an aquatic environment is based on pH. It's important in the physiological experiments. The electrophoresis and chromatographic experiments. The pH of buffer is very important in the separation of components from the mixture. In case of electrophoresis and along with that chromatography. pH meter is very important here. In microbiological and Parasitological studies, the culture median should have a constant pH throughout microbiology, microbiology and parasitology. Constant pH throughout. So, maintenance of specific pH is an important factor in the studies. In enzymatic studies too, the enzymes are to be maintained in a specific medium having constant pH enzymatic study is also very important. pH scales. pH of an aqueous solution can be defined as the negative logarithm of H plus ion concentration. It is measured in moles per liter. Moles per liter. Moles per liter. An aqueous solution, whether acidic or neutral, contains both hydrogen and hydrogen hydroxyl ions. The acidity or alkalinity of the solution depends on which of the two ions present in greater concentrations. We know that. If the concentration of one of these ions is known, one of the other will be calculated as the sum of H plus concentration and OH minus concentration is, is equal to 1 into 10 raised to minus 14. It is convenient to express acidity or alkalinity of a solution by referring the concentration of H plus ions only. So Sorensen in 1909 introduced a more convenient scale for indicating pH by indicating H plus ion concentration which is called as a pH scale. pH is equal to negative logarithm of H plus. pH is equal to negative logarithm of H plus ion concentration. The logarithm of the number is Logarithm of a number less than 1 is a negative number. H plus concentration are always lesser than 1 mole per liter. The negative logarithm corresponds to a positive number. Whole number pH values are all easy to calculate. So for pure water or neutral solution pH is 7. pH increases with increase in alkalinity and 
comes down with increase in acidity. Values below 7 are acidic and above 7 are basic. For measurements of pH, for determination of acidity and alkalinity, several methods can be used. When measuring pH, measurement of pH, the pH of a solution can be measured by using color charts, pH indicators and pH meter. pH indicators are substances which show characteristic color patterns. They show a particular color for a particular pH of pH range. They are very often used where high levels of accuracy are not required. pH indicators include litmus paper. paper. We have heard about that. And the chemical indicator solutions. Chemical indicator solutions too. Acid turns blue litmus red and alkali turns red litmus blue. Indicator solutions change their color in response of the change in the pH of the solution. They are mainly very weak acids. Very weak acids. Weak acids or bases or their salts or salts. They have the following characteristics. Color change is sharp and clear. Color is deep and stable like once that particular color developed it's stable until the pH changes pH paper these are the color changing indicator papers which can be used to determine pH of the solutions this is the simplest and the easiest method of pH determination but it is not of that much accuracy it gives an approximate idea about the pH of solutions under study tear off a piece of paper from the pH paper book and dip its tip in the sample solution remove the paper allow it to dry and watch the color obtained with the standard color chart provided in the cover of the paper book. pH paper is available in different ranges, for example, 1 to 6, 7 to 13, 1 to 13, etc. pH indicator solutions. These are the color changing indicator solutions which can be used for determining pH of solutions. The solutions are organic compounds of natural or synthetic origins. Some commonly used indicator solutions are methyl violet, methyl violet, methyl orange, methyl yellow. Promophenol blue, promophenophthalene, phenophthalene, thymol blue, chrysol red, bromo chrysol, promo thiol, congo red, phenophthalene, and orange red, etc., which are the pH indicator solutions. Take a drop of a sample solution in white, porcelain tile and add one drop of pH indicator solution. Note on the color developed and match it with the standard color chart provided. So that is happening in the case of pH indicator solutions. Which are the examples? Methyl violet, methyl red, I'm sorry, methyl yellow, bromophenol blue, bromophenol blue, congo red, Phenophthalene, orange red, and chrysol red, and thymol blue.